Hey guys, today we are reacting to some new arcane related in-game stuff. I know that they have sort of released an arcane in-game preview come play, sort of a developer's diary. So I haven't watched that yet and I figured we might watch that together. Then there's also Need to Live Heimerdinger Champion trailer, another one, haven't seen that one. It looks great. On the thumbnail I can see already that there's Echo there, so obviously that's a thing for arcane season 2. A short Caitlyn in-game video, I, I don't know what that is, eyes on the target, chibi Caitlyn shoots her shot it's very short and then there's a bridge of progress aram trailer now in this video i was going to also react to new in-game ambesa medad uh, voice lines because they released ambesa voice lines the first ones ever apparently they kept the original actress so that's fantastic but i'm going to leave that for now because ambesa becoming a new champion that's a big big deal and apparently around world fin finale so 2nd of november we might get some background maybe there's something that differs from what we know from arcane that's why let's maybe put that on hold and react to ambesa beginning of November. So upcoming videos apart from that we have LeBlanc reaction. I have sort of browsed through her cards, through her lore, especially because she is probably going to be, well she could be a thing in Arcane Season 2. Also I, I see that you guys are enjoying my skins reaction. I have been enjoying exploring them for sure. That's not something that I thought I would say but, but it, they're actually quite interesting to just dig through that. Uh, we have done Caitlyn and Vi, naturally so next one would be Jinx. And apart from that we are getting closer and closer to Arcane, I'll be reacting to Worlds Finale as well. So there's a lot of stuff lining up in the upcoming months, which is great. So let's jump right into first the uh, developer's diary. Hey everyone, I'm Mark, co-founder and chief product officer at Riot. And I'm Christian, co-creator and showrunner of Arcane. We've been working on Arcane for years and it's almost time to share the final season. Telling these stories has been an honor, and we can't wait to see what you all think. Arcane's first season gave us an exciting opportunity to deepen the world of Runeterra through expanding on our storytelling, for Tish's stunning animation, music, and a few Easter eggs for dedicated League fans. Season two Ooh, will bring you even deeper maybe into Maybe I am a dedicated the fan too. I don't know. Together <laughs> to try to make the launch of Arcane a moment that can be enjoyed across all of our games. We're not going to spoil everything coming out but we're going to give you a little glimpse into what's in store as we head into Arcane Season 2. Earlier this year, we announced Ambessa, making her the first character to go from Arcane to the Rift. When the Arcane team worked on her during Season 1, we were very excited by her speed, power, and domination, and couldn't wait to see how she'd play in League PC and Wild Rift. That said, Ambessa's presence will stretch beyond the Rift, as she'll also be playable in Legends of Runeterra's Path of Champions. She and does of course, have the she'll be a playable unit in teamfight tactics. Champion but we'll let you vibe. Theorycraft what her traits might be. Speaking of TFT, while gizmos and gadgets incorporated Arcane Season 1 through some traits and champions, the team's going all out on Arcane for their next set. You'll be able to fully immerse yourself in Season 2, from exclusive champions to mechanics to traits, cosmetics, and more. You'll hear more about all the exclusive Arcane characters and TFT's dev drop next month. We'll share one sneak peek for now. Powder will be making an appearance in this set. Oh, and if what? you haven't heard, 2XKO, our upcoming 2v2 fighting game, will keep the arcane train rolling when it's released in 2025. On November 11th, they will release an updated look for Jinx and 2XKO, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Look at that Sign up for bridge in the background. Play 2XKO.com for a chance to test out some of your arcane favorites in a new way next year. In addition to Ambessa, Warwick will be coming to Path of Champions, and both Warwick and Singed are receiving updates in Wild Rift, where they will be joined by Heimerdinger, who's live today. Wait, is uh, Warwick an arcane? Who knows? Anyway, we're also bringing... <laughs> um, actually, let's save that one for later. And oh, I know who she means, who he means. Cool. It'll be even cooler to play them on the Bridge of Progress spoiler. in League's Leak. upcoming Leak. ARAM update. And of course, it'll have a bit of new gameplay thrown in for a little bit of extra fun. Talker's Trials will return to TFT in the first patch of the new set, giving new and returning players a way to learn the ropes in a low-pressure environment, or grind for that high score. In Wild Rift, there will be an arcane-themed mode called Showdown, with unique items that you can purchase through in-game quests. And, like we did for Season 1, we'll have story-driven mini-games for both League PC and for Wild Rift. Of course, you can continue to show your love for arcane even after the finale. League is releasing a skin at a new tier, Exalted for all you die-hard Jinx fans out there. 
They'll also have other oh, season right. two skins, including that new Jinx Brawler skin. Vi, which may look familiar if you've seen the trailers, <gasps> oh. and a Jinx-themed Nexus Brawler finisher. Vi. As for TFT, <coughs> Damn. Chibi Caitlyn is just one of the many new tacticians coming this set, along with new this arenas so that will transport you into the world of Arcane. Plus, I heard there might be a new cosmetic type on the way, but you'll have to keep up with TFT for more news on that later. If you are more of an FPS gamer, don't worry, Valorant has a brand new Arcane-themed bundle on the way. While The Sheriff was a Season 1 exclusive, the premium content team cooked up something extra special for Season 2. That's all for our game updates for now. On behalf of all of us at Riot, we're so excited to celebrate Season 2 with all of you, both in-game and out. And we can't wait to see what you all think of the show and everything else that we have Oh, coming. the music. And in addition to everything going on across from our games, Arcane. we also have a ton of real-world Arcane merch. Apparel from Uniqlo and Black Milk, collectibles <laughs> from Funko and Tokidoki, makeup from Roller Fenty Beauty, cult, and tons of other saying? exclusives across oh. clothes, figures, music products, and more. It's all going to start rolling out as we get closer to the premiere on November 9th. And in the meantime, we've got a new series trailer for you, featuring our second single off of the soundtrack, Come Play by Stray Kids, Young Miko, and Tom Morello. Enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, for loving Arcane and our games, and we'll see you all soon. I've already watched that trailer and it will block my video, so I'm you just going to off. cut now. I haven't actually analyzed that trailer because I, I felt like, wow, it's very interesting and surely there's some new stuff in there. Like probably 70% of it is something that we have already seen either in the previous trailers or in Arcane Season 1 because this one was sort of a cashing up and characters development sort of a thing. What's interesting though is that they seem to show characters that might actually be alive in season two and that included not only Vander but also Mel and rumor has it that Mel might actually survive and the grief that Mamba Sambeda has been talking about it's not necessarily her own grief not that she'll be grieving Mel too hard uh, but you know using Caitlyn and Caitlyn's mother who's pretty much a yeah, dead cause at this point but what I wanted to say I never realized looking at this that at this particular shot here uh, she's probably running a zeppelin or whatever you'd call it you know remember one of the first scenes in season one when Jinx said uh, that one day she's gonna fly one of these things it just seems like that before that I, I thought that she's probably like holding some gun pow pow or something that the old way but now I'm looking at it and I see Sky in the back and it just seems like she's sort of guiding a yeah, Zeppelin something so yeah that's something that i have noticed in that trailer and another thing that probably you you might have noticed as well but you know the bit of her you couldn't see it before in the previous trailer but right here it seems to be blue so it's interesting because she's either saving jinx but she hid her with an enforcer uniform, how ironic, to not uh, let others see that she's actually pro her sister. But given that this is her probably act free phase after her dark emo vibe roller thingy, because her hair is washing off back into red, mm, I'm not sure if she'd be so maybe doing that. Although she could be, I don't really know. Blue hair, hmm, that could also be Caitlyn, but then again, she wouldn't have to really hide her within that uniform. Or maybe it's just some, uh, you know, blue haired enforcer. What do I know? Does everyone have to be important? <laughs> it's also insane that Vi is basically tearing down Pow Pow her gun. It's insane that she just tore it apart. And then I think at one point you can see Jinx being so damn angry and screaming like crazy while well, she's furious and she's using her in-game flash something tactic as far as I've been reading so that's sort of a nod to the players that anyway need to live Heimendinger champion trailer here I found myself in this strange and fascinating part of Zon. young Echo had built something beyond my imagination it's not enough to give people what they need to survive. You have to give them what they need to live. Oh. Perhaps this new perspective is just what I needed to put the spring back in my scientific step. And Look how better to them. prove that than with a little creation of my own? I possess all the necessary terms to this equation, but somehow the correct solution continued to elude me, like a slippery grumble slug. Maybe the key 
young Echo's formula was a bit of the accustomed, multiplied with a dash of the unexpected. Young oh, Echo. Perhaps that was too much of the unexpected. <laughs> They're best bros. Get zooks! My focus had been misplaced all along. The essence of life is not determined by what we need at all. But by what we want, of course. So... <laughs> oh, no way! Okay. He built... <laughs> Whatever his name was. This is beautiful. I feel like watching Arcane Season 2 already. Oh, I love that. Beautiful tribute to the uh, fans and players. He's having tea. So fierce. Okay, Bridge of Progress, Aram trailer. I don't know what Aram is, but... Oh, Lord! Oh! I'm over here! Bad hands! Warwick, was that? Welcome to the Bridge of Progress, citizens. Today, our courage is testing. Welcome to the Bridge Wonder. Victor, Jace, oh my god, everyone's there. Run away, little guilty. Zinched. God damn. Such mediocrity. Ouch. Wait, that's a dear friend across the river! Some sort of an instrumental version! Oh! Shit! Right, so like I said, I'm best at voice lines. We're going to leave that B for now. We're going to um, listen to Ambassador voice lines once we know more. Maybe we have something new to go on with. And for now, that's it for today. I absolutely love when they combine these two worlds. Like you can see their love for both of them. There's such a wonderful symbiosis between the show and the game. Obviously, I know that the show is based on the game and has its origins within the game, but it's just lovely that they're not really compromising on on either of those things. I mean, I'm not certain about like League of Legends and stuff because I don't really play it, maybe apart from Legends of Frontera sometimes, but they're really amazing with the stuff that they are creating. And especially that Heimendinger Echo trailer, I already felt like watching Arcane Season 2 scene. Damn, not too long to go, huh? Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon with the next videos. This weekend I'm posting... Um, I check that. Oh yeah, Nocturne and welcome to Rune Terror, sort of a uh, Halloween oriented video. Spooky, huh? Yeah, anyway, thanks so much guys, see you around, bye!